Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a great video. We just got a huge blog post from 343 talking about the future of the MCC and modding and it is almost surreal. This has honestly been one of the best things 343 has done in the past few months and the amount of support MCC still gets is kind of mind-blowing to me. That being said, I was already creating this video with something different in mind, but I figured I could also add in the modding support aspects since they kind of go hand in hand. User-generated content and fan-made games are the focal point for today's video. Before we get into that, thank you for just being amazing. You guys have showered the channel with support. I think I've gained almost 500 subs in the past month. And as you all know, I do have a bet with one of my friends on reaching 10k subs before September, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we're also going to have a 10,000 sub montage with Halo coming out as soon as we hit that so very exciting thank you all again if you haven't subbed make sure you do it let's get into the video so first off we're going to go over some of the fan-made games that are currently out or being developed some of them haven't been updated in a while and that's kind of sad and I do feel when MCC came to PC there was a lot of changes made to some of these games or you know they kind of were abandoned and that's fine but every game that we have in this video will have the developer's account in the description so that you can check them out and give them a follow on Twitter. So let's get started with kind of the big fan-made game that made waves a couple years ago, and that was El Dorito. And that was a Halo community-made mod that was based off of Halo Online. And that game was based on Halo 3's multiplayer and was supposed to release for the Russian market, but it was eventually shut down. And somebody in the community got a hold of the files and started to make it work. Eventually, Microsoft had to announce on the official Halo website that they had to protect its IP and contacted the modding team of El Dorito to stop the progress on the project. Oh and I think this is because MCC was coming to the PC and Halo 3 was going to come anyways. And they were like, you guys need to chill out. But I have some really fond memories of Halo Online on PC and honestly... I wish they could figure out how to make mouse and keyboard feel that good on Infinite. Next up is probably the fan-made game that I'm most excited about, and that is Branching Sickness. It is a ground-up Halo fan game made by the community for the community, and it's also going to be free. You play a Marine on a far-off planet where an ancient evil awaits your descent. Now, I know we all need more Flood in our Halo content, and this is that Flood horror kind of game I think we've all wanted. And the thing about this is that it follows the game content usage rules and guidelines that Microsoft has in place, so it will probably avoid the same fate as El Dorito. Next up, we have Installation 01, and unfortunately, from what I can find, is that they've been dealing with issues for quite a while. They used to use an old engine, and they announced that they were going to build their own engine to create the features that they needed. They've also lost older assets and source files, so they have to rebuild those from scratch. They do monthly updates on their website, and I still have hope that it will release at some point. But like most of these games, it's going to take a while. It's just a small team working on these things. It's not like a AAA studio. Next up, we have a fan-made Halo game that's actually been released, and that is Project Contingency. Contingency was made on the Unreal Engine 4, and I believe it was released around the same time that Halo Infinite was. They've also said that just because it's released, they're not done working on it, and they have plans and features in the pipeline that they haven't fully realized yet, but we're itching to show you all. Next up, we have Downfall Game, and that is an ODST story where you follow a team of young ODSTs as they fight the Covenant for the first time to protect their home. ODST is one of my favorite Halo stories, and there's just something about playing a regular person that's not like a super soldier Spartan, and I think that's kind of why Branching Sickness also appeals to me, is because you're just a normal dude. So I'm very excited to see where this goes. Another game that has been announced that doesn't really have a lot of things to show off is Ringworld Alpha, and it's described as having combat-evolved gameplay with Halo 3 features and Infinite's art direction. All we have so far is the main menu, but it looks amazing. So let's get into the Halo modding section, and 343 announced that they're working with community modders to bring long-lost content to MCC. This group of members is called the Dig Site Team, and they've fixed old animations or created new ones, fixed shaders, made new tags, adjusted assets to get them to work on MCC. One of the coolest things is they're trying to add the Halo 2 E3 2003 demo mission to the MCC, along with Alpha Moon, 
Macworld, Spartan, and a bunch of cut weapons, vehicles, and characters, and a lot more. And the thing that will really set this up for success is the Steam Workshop integration. It'll make it seamless and extremely easy for players to pick a mod, download it, install it, and just play the game instead of what you have to do now. It's way more of a convoluted process. And this will also open up more opportunities for more fan-made projects. Now, I've heard Halo Infinite is going to have scripting for the AI in Forge, so hopefully they can build out, you know, like, missions and whatnot. But to me, the future of Halo is much like the past. It's using Forge and having user-generated content. And the fact that there are so many passionate fans out there making games like this for no money is amazing and one of the most special things about Halo. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!